Hey what's up guys my name is Farjana welcome to my another new tutorial in this video i will show you how to design this custom post loop using elementor pro this is the new feature of elementor pro and using this new feature we can design the blog post loop and also we can do it for any custom post type we can add any extra meta field and finally we can design it as you want long time before i have created another tutorial how to design the blog post loop using the elementor and that time i need to use an extra plugin and this time i will create the similar design only using the elementor pro version so for that we need to enable it from elementor settings and experiments and under this when i scroll down here is the loop feature we need to activate this this is still in the beta version but this will be activated by default to their very upcoming version after activating this feature when i go to the home page this is a pre-made layout i already imported this and now i want to create a custom post loop inside this page so for that when i open it to a elementor builder and now from the left side if i scroll down under the pro version here we will find a new feature loop grid so by using this element we can design the post loop and here also i'm using the flexbox container mode this is also enabled from the experiments and if i scroll down so this is in here the flexbox container i also activated this so if you can use it or you can do it with the default structure of elementor all right now i'm going to add the post loop after the text so here i'm taking loop grid then from here going to create template save and here we need to create the design for each of the box so go to the plus and here i have enabled the flexbox container mode so it's working like this we can take the first one and then i'm going to create the design something like the featured image in background and top of that it will be the post title and the post category so let's go ahead so first of all i need to set a height for this container mean height i'm setting 350 and i'm adding a background going to style tab and sorry background type select the image dynamic tags featured image and it's showing the featured image from blog post position center center repeat to no repeat and size cover all right and also you can set a background overlay from gradient for the first one setting the transparent and the second one the black color and the opacity we can increase it and then i'm going to add the post title so going to plus icon and we can add any heading or we can add the post title directly from here for now i'm taking this heading and title we can set the dynamic tags post title and links post url and the html tag we can set it to h2 alignment center and also we can add some text style from here all right i'm done and now i want to move it to the bottom so going to edit container and layout so it's working as flexbox and when i go to justify content select to end all right so it's going to the very bottom and then i want to add the post category top of this so we can simply duplicate and for the top one 
we can go to the content post title crossing it dynamic tags i'm selecting the post terms click again and from here we can select the categories also here is the separator between the category already it's showing and the post url it should be the sorry not from here crossing it it should be the archive url and the html tags we can set it to paragraph and now we can add some style for this category all right i'm done and now i need to decrease the spacing between these two so again going to edit container and here is the gap between these two we can make it to zero all right looks good and finally save it so i think this is okay we can also check it for the responsive and tablet view if i go to the responsive and tablet so for tablet looks good for phone we can also decrease the font size for phone also for this one all right going back and finally going to save and back all right we are done for the design for each item and now we can customize it overall so if i go to edit now and from here we can change the number of column three and items per page we can set it to three also from query by default it's working for the blog post if we have any custom post type we can do it for any custom post type or even we can select any custom query and here we can add some more customization we can customize by date order and the query id also here is the pagination so we can enable different kind of pagination option you can check all these one by one and also here is the style tab we can change the spacing between each item and row and finally we can add some spacing in left and right so going to advance in padding from left and right i'm adding 30 and in top i'm adding 20 we can also add some for bottom all right that's all i'm going to save it and finally going to refresh from the home page finally it's showing to our home page all right that's all for today following this same process we can do it for any custom post type we can add any custom field and we can create our own design as we want so if you find this tutorial helpful Give this video a big thumbs up, otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time. And if you are new here and like to see my more upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Finally, if you would like to work with me for any WordPress project, you can contact me through my website. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.